Michael did it, and now it's Jeannie's turn to walk on a wing with a prayer. Every once in a while you come across a person or you see something that might inspire you to do something that you wouldn't ordinarily do. I remember that moment for me was seeing Michael Moll on top billing doing a wing walk and I decided one day I wish that could be me. And now on our 20th birthday I've decided to take up that challenge. Doesn't seem like such a good idea right now though, just as I'm about to get on top of that plane. When Michael took to the sky in 1999, he joined a century old tradition. Here goes nothing. And what a glorious experience. The pilot on that day was Stu Davidson. And wouldn't you know it, he's still up to his old tricks. I am so terrified. That makes two of us. That's not very comforting. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> One of the reasons why I do feel safe in your hands, though, is because your wife was, in fact, your windwalker. Yeah, we approached the local radio station and we put an advert in there saying we required a windwalker and uh, my wife apply it and then from there we gradually went into all the different maneuvers and well, she's 100 percent what kind of person do you have to be to withstand something like this you have to be tough you have to have a good mindset and of course you have to have the right physique <laughs> he called me thin well, <laughs> <friends forever. laughs> but when you're about to go wing walking friends forever doesn't have quite the same ring to it in terms of safety what can go wrong Nothing should go wrong. It's highly, highly, highly unlikely anything will go wrong. The aeroplane's just been maintained. I've got lots of experience on the aeroplane, so you've got nothing to worry about. You also Absolutely. took Michael Muller. Yeah. How was he? He was very, very brave and very, you know, full of himself when he started, but unfortunately when we came back, he wasn't too well. <laughs> okay, no, these shoes? No, no, you must take those off and get your suit done and let's go. It's been a while now. Do you guys know where Jeannie is? No, I don't know. Jeannie? How are you feeling? Hi. Yeah. Hey, look, if you don't want to do this, we, you know, we can, we can just, leave it. I just, um, like, I've got to get my head around it. Like, it's a lot to accept. Mm. Just getting my head around it, you know? Getting your head around what? This hat. <laughs> Wonder Woman didn't have to wear one of these. I mean, I have my moment standing on the wing of an aeroplane and I've got to be dressed like a ball. Hmm, we do take your point, but it's all about dressing for the occasion. Statement buckle, anyone? This is probably the most terrifying thing I've ever done, and I've done some scary things. Jeannie, this is going to hold you to the back. It can hold 10 Gs, so it can basically hold an elephant, so nothing to <laughs> worry about. Oh, it's already scary. Shucks. I, I need it to be tight. I oh, know. <laughs> I want to feel like I'm being supported. So you are strapped in, you are secure to the back. Okay, we're ready. Three basic things you have to remember here, okay? This one is you're unhappy, you want to land. If you're happy, this one. Okay, the cable ties around this strap, nothing to worry about, you're secure. These cable ties are amazing. They saved my luggage, now they're going to be saving my life. <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready. I was born ready! Getting ready to capture the event on film in the aircraft flying next to her is D.O.P. Vimpy. I'm getting strapped in, so I'm fine. I'm just a little bit worried about Jeannie, but uh, they uh, assure me she's going to be fine, so we're ready to go. And with that, Jeannie took her place among the barnstormers and daredevils of yesteryear who pioneered this extreme sport. challenging moments would be takeoff and landing. With the takeoff, I was just standing on the top of the plane and it started moving and I thought, oh, I didn't think about this. I didn't mentally prepare myself for the takeoff. And so I just burst out laughing. I didn't know what to do. I thought, well, too late now. <laughs> and I just laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed until we took off and I would close your eyes and I opened my eyes and thought, well, this is beautiful. But the dangers are very real, like being struck by a bird or engine failure causing a forced landing. The landing was really another challenge because, remember, you're not in the aeroplane. <laughs> you're standing on top of it. And so as it comes down, 
it's, it's daunting because it looks like you're gonna crash because it looks like you're coming in too fast than what you should be and that was terrifying and just <laughs> my eyes kind of popped out of my head and, but it was quite a relief to be back down on the ground <laughs> we did it yeah, well done. thank you so much well done. that was mind-blowing that was absolutely oh god this is that was absolutely epic. So exhausting. But I feel like I've just come out of a three hour workout because your body takes such a beating up there. It feels like a million different hammers all at once, just with the force of the wind. But the views are just amazing. You actually get more, in, you, and you enjoy it more than what you feel scared. The fear element isn't there as much because you feel safe, you feel secure. Anything you can do, I can do better. So, how does it feel to recreate Michael's famous stunt? It's quite an amazing feeling knowing that Michael was exactly here at this airfield doing exactly the same thing just a couple of years ago. And it's an absolute honor that I'm able to do the same thing. I did call him before I came just to say, Michael, what should I do? I'm going to do the wing walk. And his advice to me was, don't. <laughs> so thanks, Michael. Love you. And thank you, Top Billing, for making me do crazy things.